Let's check it out. Okay, sweet. We're back. We had some technical difficulties. Let me pop out the chat. And I'm going to do a quick little intro to this one because uh, we already had a little chat uh, with the gang on Twitch, but one of my cameras was not working for some reason. Boop, and that's the angle that we're going to be using. Okay, so we're testing it. So there's going to be a little five minute gap. Uh, we'll probably start uh, with the stream with me showing you my poster collection in about five minutes. Make sure everyone rolls in. Everyone has a time. Spider-Man, welcome back. Gang, Speedy Gonzalez intro while we wait for people to come in. If you want to follow this work, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Uh, share and share alike. Okay. Slick Mick is back. Yeah, and the camera angle works now. All right, check it out. Boop. That's the angle we're going to use. Just a little bit different but it's the same height as the hd camera that we're using fixed i think it was just me double clicking on it trying to make sure that the setting was set properly and it kicked it out for some reason right uh, it is what it is right it's a little hiccup uh, we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay if you want to follow this work live as it's happening which is where you want to be at. Tendalin, we live to fight another day. Nice, nice, nice. We do indeed. I do announce these live streams on Twitter, uh, Twitter, Gab's Mind, VK, LO, and Parlor. Okay. So if you want to follow this work, uh, see when we're going live and additional information that we're sharing, we do share it on those platforms. Slick Mick, going to be an awesome stream, man. I'm on my way home after a long day i might drift off uh if the crinkles get the best of me awesome now sound is good okay awesome so there was a little hiccup must have been can you show us more of your this is it no no movement on the camera i'm just going to move around i don't think we're going to be uploading the lapel mic audio to soundcloud but we might okay because i will be recording on a lapel mic for this one and uploading the video editing the video as much as i can because my computer is having hiccups it's blowing a gasket okay so i don't think there's going to be too much additional edits on it but as long as it can handle the full uh lot full recording of the posters loading on youtube and bitshoot um, i'll edit the video otherwise it's just going to be live stream that's going to be on okay on try today's uh is that a wood burner behind you it's a gas it's a gas burner it's nice it's nice easy peasy right i love wood but if everybody in the neighborhood was burning wood uh, the air quality would suck right i do love the smell of wood though right and obviously i've had i've lived in homes with a wood burner it's amazing the crackles and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bitshoot if you want to follow this work uh, uh, if you want to support this work on youtube you can support by joining youtube membership and uh love wood burners me too me too on charter days uh if i was in a rural area definitely you would have wood burner right you'd have a sort of a shed for the firewood going on right i'm more curious why it's on uh you know what it's cloudy right now and uh it's believe it or not right now in victoria it's only like 13 degrees celsius uh so it's not super warm it's not super cold right and anger thank you very much for the twitch prime sub do a little thank you we got an emote Boop. what did we get <laughs> we got a pride float and a pride woo and a thanks for the thanks for the yeah the other emote sub fun fun and angered and i think you've been going for 13 months year and one month what have you been doing today i've been setting up for the stuff of following a fair bit of news actually so i think people are slow slowly rolling in we had like 30 plus people um 
when we started the first stream going on, right? Uh, so I'm not sure if we lost a few people that angered fun. So I'm going to take these guys down. And oops, not that one. Boop, pitch, 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 pitch. Okay, I rode my bike all day. Nice Rambo. No second notification went out. No second notification went out. Oh, pooper scooper. Welcome back. Camera working this time. Camera working this time. Certicon. Slowly people are coming in. So <laughs> I should wait because there were people here waiting for this. I'm going to set myself up. I'm going to change it to the other camera. Okay. Here's the other camera. Where's your wife? My partner's chilling. My partner's chilling like a villain. Let me set this up here. Okay. And so you know, I got the live stream camera here, gang. Okay. And the HD camera is behind the live stream camera. It's off on the left side and a little bit further back. And the way it's working is because the cameras are different qualities, right? This, the live stream camera is getting a it's uh, I have to when I'm shooting close up they get sort of the same frame but when I'm further away the frame pers perspectives change a lot so when I show the stuff I might have to go behind the live stream to show the HD camera so it might be a little trippy okay man you're lucky it's been like 90 Fahrenheit 35 30 35 Celsius in Wisconsin Oof, that is hot yeah the weather is really nice actually right now i'm loving it the plants are loving it outside i did a whole bunch of repotting okay i like that you're you refer to your partner as your partner it implies a different approach to your relationship yeah we're yeah we're amazing together i care for her a lot right i'm going to show you guys posters rambo I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna tuck this in. Where are we in with the with the sows? Did people get a chance to come? Well, we're gonna do. What are we in? We're about. We're about. What are we? Twelve thirty-two. Oh, what is the uptime on this? I don't know what the uptime is. You guys are here. Let's sh let me show you guys the poster collection. Felix, welcome back. Long time no see awesome long long time brother i think it's been like 10 minutes let me tuck in the cables and stuff so i don't get tangled up ah uh, stolen borrowed maybe i have some stuff here on the ground that we might get into showing you if i don't if we don't get into those ones uh, I'll show you another day because they are very very unique they are very unique they're souvenirs from 1984 World Cup okay let me lock this oh I gotta turn it on first okay I'm gonna turn on the HD camera I'm gonna turn this on test test Let's make sure that's turned on. Test, test. That's turned on. Test, test. Nice. Let's put this here. Playing with fire with so much cables. <laughs> Bro, you need to teach me how to how to beard like you. I have beard videos out there, brother. You want you want to know how I do beards? I got a beard playlist on my YouTube channel. Check it out. Uh, I do share what I as much as I can, right? Awesome. Thank you. I don't know who the mod was that was taking care of business. Spider Man, thanks for taking care of business. Oh, Rambo. Uh, Spider Man, Rambo is is okay to a certain degree, unless he goes crazy. Rambo, don't go crazy, please. <laughs> Oh, it's good homie posters are good man posters are good should we do this gang let me do a little timestamp on this 
Okay. So I can sync the sound and the video, the HD camera. And I'm gonna do a little intro. Okay. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a, sort of a show and tell video. What I'm gonna do today is, as I promised a few years ago that I've been meaning to do, I'm gonna show you my poster collection. Okay. Now, just so you know, we're recording this on an HD camera right here recording on a lapel mic. We're also live streaming this on Twitch from this camera over here and there's chat going on. So what we'll end up doing is we'll upload the live stream and as long as my computer, uh, my editing computer is blowing a gasket. So it's getting a little bit harder to edit videos. And as long as the computer is able to handle editing this video because I'm not sure how long this is going to take us. There's a few posters here and there's stories behind some of these. As long as I can edit the video and the computer doesn't freak out, I will definitely have the HD version uh, with the lapel mic sound uploaded as well. So fingers crossed, we'll have two versions of this video on Bichud and YouTube. Okay. And there is chat going on in the live stream. So if you want to follow the chat, some people might know a little bit more about the posters than I do. You can follow the chat. You can see the other video or watch the live stream as we're doing it right now, which will be loaded on. Okay. Aside from that, let's take a look at what we got. And just to let you know, some of these posters have been with me since I was in high school, since the 1980s. Okay. They're my personal collection, some have been gifted to me, some have found their way to me, okay? And there's a couple things that I have on the ground here that they're souvenirs from the 1994 World Cup in the United States. And if we get a chance, I'll show you that as well, okay? What I wanna start off with is a poster and I decided to start this off with this poster a uh, long time ago when I told everyone that I was going to do a posters um, collection video. Okay, and it's math related. Take a look at this. This thing's phenomenal. And I've had this thing with me since uh, the, or it's been with the family since the 1980s. And it's been with me since the mid 1990s okay and it's check this out let me show you this men of modern mathematics okay it's a timeline history of some of the great mathematicians from 1000 bc to 1900 bc right and starting 20 years ago or so i created some space in another city i was in and uh, when i had a lot of students coming into my space and i was group, doing group sessions and stuff like this i created some space for the students to come uh, that they could drop in and do mathematics and whatnot and i had this poster on my wall and if you put this poster up i'll show it to you guys it would basically span all the way from here and it would go all the way around and i've read everything on this poster so this is it's broken down into two pieces okay and here's the other one and this thing it says is copyrighted I would have to put on my glasses I'll put on my glasses read a little bit for you but take a look at this thing BC, AD, my, my apologies, right? BC, Jeebus, Jeebus, right? So it starts off from 1000 AD, right? Our timeline, and it goes across, and this one takes us to 1500, right? 
And the other one goes from, I guess, the beginning of 1500 all the way to 1900. So take a look at this thing. Now, at some point, uh, I am sure starting off with this because at some point, I believe we're going to create a series of videos and read each 100 year period, each century as an ASMR video with the camera looking down, just like the, the comic books, right? Let me put on my glasses. Let me read you some of the things that are here. Let me read you the intro to this uh, or the description of this thing, right? Take a look. Oops. Let me show, make sure the live stream sees it as well, right? Matter of Modern Mathematics. And it says a history chart of mathematicians from 1000 to 1900 AD, right? This is a chronological view of mathematics as seen through the uh, bio biographies of some great mathematicians. It starts in the 11th century, about the time when algebra and geometry were beginning to emerge on the European scene, okay? United under a single, single discipline, right? This period, in many respects, marks the beginning of modern mathematics. The mathematicians were chosen for their original contributions to mathematics. The increase in their number as the chart approaches the present time reflects the spectacular growth of the art. Pictures and words that surround the biographies give clue to the kind of attitudes and events that influence the development of mathematics and mathematicians, right? And I've read everything on both of these things, right? I'll read you a little bit from here and I'll show you the other one as well. Okay, but if we want, um, we'll read, <laughs> and it's not in great shape. It's got a little, unfortunately, little, I guess it's a coffee stain or a water stain there and stuff like this. But uh, here, check this out. Uh, in Muhammad Abu Bakr in Al Hassan Al Kahibi, algebra, everything is written, written out in words even the names of numbers. Later critics will consider this refusal to abbreviate to be a step backwards on the road towards symbolic algebra, right? So it just gives you a little bit of history, politics, uh, some of the events that were taking place, right? 1999, 999 to 1003, the first French Pope Gerbert named Pope, first French Pope, Gerbert, named Pope Sil Sylvester II, is accused of wizardry because of his, of his scientific interest. Actually, he combats error. He combats error, learns Hindu Arabic numerals, and writes on the Abask Abascus and other mathematical subjects, right? Gerbert thinks that pi is equal to the square root of 8, which equals 2.83. Although 500 years ago, the Hindu mathematician Aryabhata had used the value of pi equal to 3.1416, right? And it continues a little bit. So it's amazing, this thing. I've spent many hours reading this thing, right? And again, right? And I'll show you the other one. And this one, who, who else did it have? It had someone during this period. Check this out. It's got Fubinucci here. Check it out. Right? You got Fubinucci. And we got videos out on Fibonacci, right? Very cool. And I used to have students that when they were taking a break from doing work, they would, uh, here's the other one, right? They would go stand by the poster and start reading, right? What some of the history of this was. Let me bring this closer. <laughs> Can you guys see? 
We'll have a read through this. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a read through this. Is it possible to obtain a copy of this? I'm just reading the chat, someone is asking a question. Uh, yeah, but from what I understand, it's pretty expensive. Okay. Um, there, it's from IBM. It's called, uh, what was it called? It was produced by IBM, by the way. So produced by IBM, International Business Machine, uh, by the office of Charles. <laughs> I gotta put my glasses back on, right? Check this out. Uh, produced by, by IBM, by the office of Charles M's, biographies and mathematical notes by Ray Redford, IBM, copyright 1966, International Business Machine Corporation, Armok, New York. Okay, there it is. And that's the write up for it, right? Down at the bottom there. So I think you can find it. I think I looked at this uh, uh, for this on uh, eBay once. It's it's pretty cool. It's very cool. Okay. Let me put this guy on this side. I take off these glasses because it makes me a little dizzy when I move around. Let me put this guy here. <laughs> what should we think of? It? Let me show you the frame once. Okay. There's, I have two posters, music posters framed. And if you've seen the comic book videos, there's one, maybe two comic book videos where you have this in the background. Check this out. And I've seen this band three times? Three times. Dillinger Escape Plan. Check this out. Check this out. All right, beautiful poster. Beautiful poster. Dillinger escape plan. And I've seen Dillinger escape plan uh, with the original singer and with the new one. Okay. And both times, phenomenal shows. Phenomenal shows. Okay. Talk about high energy. Let me show you this one. I got more music posters as well. So. Let me just show you the frame ones right now. Here's one, and I haven't seen this band. Okay. I love the poster because it's black exploit exploitation, right? And they called it wax exploitation. Okay. And this is wax exploitation meets uh, brownout uptown, right? And these are posters that are rare in essence. Some of these posters only have a print run of maybe 25. Some have a print run of 100 or 200 or something like this, but nothing more than 200 in general. And 100 is a fair bit for these things. And uh, these things were given to me by my sister, okay? Because she made a documentary on movie posters and she gifted me these. Well, she gifted me a handful more that I'm gonna show you guys, okay, when we get to them. And it's a beautiful poster, by the way. I love this thing. So I framed that. Okay, let's put this guy here. Let's make sure that's gonna stay. stay. Okay, here, let me show you some of the other posters. This is the documentary here. I brought the um, thing too. This is a documentary that she made. And she. this is a poster for her movie. It's called Die Young State pretty okay and this was the dvd for it oops this was a dvd for it and basically if you're into music posters or just posters in general you need to watch this movie okay <laughs> like it's promoing my sister's work uh but this is basically a quintessential movie for underground poster making and she spent five years traveling in the united states interviewing some of the best known uh, artists out there that made posters. And I'm gonna show you a handful more of these ones since we started with these ones. Okay. And it's, it's, they're, they're quite unique characters. Some of the artists that make these posters. 
and I'll have the link in the description of this video and I'll give you guys the link in uh, in chat because I did bookmark it let me grab it where is it okay here and there's a trailer for it on uh, what do you call it on YouTube as well as Vimeo I believe if you want to check it out but the the process of creating these posters either through silk screen or whatnot very very intricate right here's a handful I believe these are it Oh yeah, there's a bunch here too. Okay, let me show you these ones. I'm gonna handle these with care a little bit. All right. Check out this one. Mixed lot, the show box, and there's actually a website. It's called. Uh, geek posters i don't know if it's still around uh, it really came into it was sort of a place marketplace where people bought and sold posters okay beautiful some of these bands i don't know like they're just independent bands that they were doing a tour and the artist just made posters for them right Litiger, the Isle set, the King Cobra, right? Pretty cool. What's this one? The Philos and the the pillows and noodles. The pillows and noodles, right? March. 23rd and it doesn't have the year on there right, take a look oh don't want to lose it one day i'll probably try framing all of these check out this one avio sus sure sure <laughs> three kings Check this out. Oh, this is the same band, I guess, as the other one, right? Kuma Shiro Shirobo. That's a big grizzly. Right. Informatics, the dead science. Okay. This one is numbered twelve out of fifty. Okay. I have no idea. The writing's there. It's got small writing on the on the things, right? And it's got a numbered here, signed. Just for the live stream gang. Twelve out of fifty. And let me show the HD camera people. Right. And I don't know the name of these artists. And I got a handful of more of these ones, so let me show you those ones as well. I should actually put the rest of them on these guys too. Yeah, it's these guys. Take a look. This one's 18 out of 45. Okay. There's a handful here as well, okay? So I'm gonna open this up. Take a look. 
Let me bring these up one at a time. They've been rolled up for a while, so. Look, who is this? Other babies are not quite as helpless. At first is father's, at first is feathers are wet and it is too weak to stand up. Ah, oh, okay. Capital Records. Take a look. Beautiful. Here, let me put this guy here. Check out this one. Oh, okay, let me show you this one first. What's this one? Lost Film Festival, Monday, Tuesday, November 25th to 26th. Radical political punk. Do it yourself. DIY film and video. Right. Cool. Lost Film Fest. Lost Film Fest. I don't know where that was. Let's put that guy there. And this one. Kentucky Gag Order. Look at this one. What a beautiful poster. Look at this, I need to frame this one. I need to frame this one. This one is, this is the one that's uh, 18 out of 45, okay? So there's only four to five, 45 of these in existence, right? What a beautiful poster. Look at this thing, look at this. Kentucky Gag Order, April 11th, 2003, 7th Street Entry, right? six dollars for the show check that out right there six dollars for the show with the squabs arctic universe and lady hard on nice what does that say kentucky gag order company release release show if you know you're on the ground rock you might know these guys i don't i just have the poster so these were gifted to me uh, by my sister and I believe a lot of these uh, the artists are featured in that movie died young stayed pretty seriously I've seen the movie is only hour and a half hour and 45 minutes I've seen footage of about five hours of what she took and just the detail and the eccentricity and the the intensity of the people that make these posters makes you fall in love with posters. It is an amazing art form. It is an amazing art form. Okay. Let me put these guys here. What else we got? What else we got? Let's do a big one. <laughs> this, is, this is my world map. I'm pretty sure this is my world map that I have. Let me see. Let's open this up. You want me to get closer so you can read it? Let me let me bring the other poster a little bit closer. Someone mentioned they wanted to get closer so you can read it. Let me bring this closer. Check that out. show the HD camera people too right. super cool now what does the back say here aesthetic apparatus the people who made these are aesthetic apparatus okay 
some of these fetch a high price, by the way. Um, I remember going to Geek Posters when she was putting out the movie. Uh, and this is the movie again, I'll show it to you guys. Check it out. I have one sealed. This is my sealed copy. <laughs> Died young, stayed pretty. If you're into posters, this is a quintessential movie to watch. If you want to know about how these posters are made. This has got to be my world map. Look at this guy. Yeah. I used to have this on my wall for a number of years. It's a nice world map. Valiant Comics promo poster that they had out. I just grabbed it. The comic book store owners, they know I love my Valiant, so. Show it to you all the way. Let me take it back. Let me take it back. Rest in peace, right? Nice. <laughs> it's like get close, you lose it. Check it out. I need a. I need to stand. Oh, no. Sketchy, should we stand on a chair? Let's stand on a chair. Let me show you the glory of this thing. Sketchy. Don't do this at home, game. Let me make sure we're in the middle. this way to me you got to fight <laughs> for your right to party. this is uh, from the 1990s this has been around with us early 1990s I believe This is 
some of these, I don't know what they are. I haven't cracked them open for a long time. Let's check it out. Let's see, do we need a... make sure we're still recording eh love the beastie boys man got to appreciate got to appreciate right yeah got to appreciate let's see what is this guy It's from one of the frames that if you've seen some of the comic books that I have framed, it's one of the ones that was in the frames. Ivan Reese, do not remove, do not remove, sorry, already removed, right? Arbors. I have a handful of, uh, of this type of art framed in uh, that I plan on overlaying comic books on them. For me, it, I like just decorating walls, right? 10 by 10 grid. Got our thingamajiggy here. <laughs> Got like different things hanging, right? And these two things are menus from restaurants that I went to in the 1980s that I liked. I liked the food and I asked them if I could grab the menus. I think I asked them. I don't think I stole them. Uh, bad Chicho, if you stole them when you were young. But this was in the 1980s, and this was a place we went to. It's called the Chowder Bowl at Nye Beach. Take a look. And I actually looked this up, and it looks like they're still around. And I grabbed this menu because I love clown chowder. And at that time, this was the best clown chowder I had ever had, okay? A few years later, I went to Prince Edward Island. And if you ever go to PEI on the east coast of canada right it's got the most amazing seafood anywhere and i'm on bc we got amazing seafood here the lobster the crabs the lobster specifically but the clown ch clam chowder in pei is amazing and the clown chowder here was absolutely phenomenal and i think these guys are still around and this is in oregon okay so if you feel like having an amazing clown chowder, I don't know if it's the same people. I don't know if 40 years later, the quality of the food is still the same. Uh, but for some reason, I had this on my wall for a while. Okay. <laughs> I just liked it. Decorate, decorate your walls with what you love. And for some reason, 
I don't remember the food here, but I think they had amazing burgers and I love the name and I love their logo and it's Fat Fannies of America. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Check out the logo on that thing, right? Fat Fannies of America. I think I just fell in love with the logo and the name, right? And I think it had really good hamburgers. Right? And I asked them if I could take their menu and they said yes. And I grabbed it. I, I don't know if it's a fast food chain or not. Fat Fannies of America. Anybody eaten there before? Are they still around? I don't know about these guys. I don't know about these guys. Right. On that note, since we're on the food thing, let me show you something else. Uh, another menu that I bought off the restaurant because it's uh, an expensive menu to make. And this was in Cuba in the 1990s. Okay, check this out. El Ranchon. Okay, and this is in Cuba. Oops, let me show you the live stream. The camera is a little different, right? And what they've done is burn the menu on wood, right? And if you flip it and it's on leather, check it out. Beautifully done right and there's Cuba beautiful right and their menu was just super cool and I think I paid five dollars for this thing just souvenir for me it's not a poster but it's related to the menu <laughs> menu theme right check it out Showing the HD people, my guys. <laughs> cool, right? Super neat. Right. I thought it was cool. And I have, uh, I bought something else from Cuba as well. When I went to a Cuban cigar store, I went there specifically for cigars. They had a menu for the cigars that they had. And a description is leather bound and and whatnot uh, we'll go through that in a reading at some point okay what else we got what else we got oh let me show you this check this out this isn't really a poster but it could be a poster right it could be it would be really cool just to frame this thing at the previous location we were at, when we were moving out, I found this. The Daily, Daily it's a newsprint, newspaper, the Daily British Colonist. And the date on this thing is, I gotta put on my glasses on this. I just thought it'd be cool to have it on a wall sometime, at some point. Right? The date on this is, I mean, here it is, right? Take a look. Let me put this on top of it so it doesn't get any more damaged. The date on this is uh, Victoria, British Columbia, right? That's where I am right now, the city, okay? Thursday, August 28, 1879. 1879, right? I thought that was pretty cool. Oh. Okay, so I grabbed it. It was rotting away in the in the basement there somewhere. Boarding school for boys. Yikes. Great fall. Butchard's meats. Yeah. A little bit of history. A little bit of history. stuff 
think I did. I don't know if I showed you guys all of these. These are, and we plan on reading this comic, by the way, or the first issue of it. And this is Simon Bisley's artwork. And if you know comic books, Simon Bisley is absolutely phenomenal. Let me make sure I don't do any damage on this. Come on. There we go. Take a look. These are from Slain the Horned God, right? And it's a comic book series that Pat Mills wrote and Simon Bisley did the artwork. And it's a British uh, sort of uh, Celtic lore that they created a comic book series on. And I loved the panels. So what I ended up doing was at the time I was working as a geophysicist, I had access to a gigantic bubble, uh, bubble jet, inkjet printer. So after hours, I went and scanned in some of the panels and printed them off and went and got them laminated. And I had these on my walls for a very long time. Let me show you some of these. This is one of the characters, the main character, the narrator of the story. Take a look. <laughs> Eating a snot. <laughs> Eating the snot. Look at this. Which way does it go? Yeah, it goes this way. He's telling a story. He's writing the chronicles of Slain's adventures in relation to the Hohen God. And <laughs> Bisley Art. Got to love it. Got to love it. He's the troll. He's the troll indeed. Mmm, yum. Mmm, yum. Check this out, let me show that. It's not gonna work for the HD camera, people. Right. Super cool. Let me put this here. Here's some more panels. Okay, I'm gonna put these on the, I'm gonna put them here because it's easier to get. Now this one, awesome, right. beautiful. Really phenomenal. Apologies about the glare, but it's laminated. And these are three of the same thing, but just different sizes. Okay. Here's Slain going berserk. Look at that. Awesome. Look at the head. He's chopping off the heads. All right. Simon buys the Bisley's artwork is absolutely phenomenal. This style of his work. And he became really well known in the comic book world uh, because his uh, his work on Lobo. Right. Lobo, the last Zarnian, just put him on the map for the comic book uh, community. Here's the troll again. Very cool. The cold 
Sanhedrin. The cauldron. And there was actually text in this panel, in some of these panels, and I edited out the text. Okay. I think there was text here that I edited it out in Photoshop. Back in back in the day, in the early in the early mid nineteen nineties. Here's another one. Beautiful. Eyes without life, sundered heads, piles of carcasses. These are pleasing words to me. <laughs> right. These are pleasing words to me, he says. Pretty cool. Here's Slain sitting on a throne. There's lots of glare on this right now, so. This one, beautiful, beautiful. Right, beautiful. There's actually, when I say that, there's text in this where it goes slain, slain, slain. And I edited those out. I just wanted the image. Okay. Cool. And let me show you this. This is one of my favorite comic book covers of all time. Okay. It's demon number 12. And I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys this before. The most metal comic, uh, most metal cover, uh, one of the most metal covers you'll ever see in comic books. Right? Yeah. Beautiful. Lots of glare there. Sorry about that. It, I thought this was amazing. I bought multiple co copies of this. I mean, it's not worth <laughs> that's not gone up in price. I just went crazy and I bought a whole bunch of covers for this. Whole, whole, whole bunch of copies of this. Just loved it. Just loved it. Right? Lobo, pure Lobo. This is it. Right? In one, one color. Essence of Lobo captured. What? What else we got? What else we got? Oh, this one's empty. Nothing here. Let's put that one there. What's this? Oh, these are. Out. These are I think these are posters that I bought from uh, Stratford Festival. I believe so anyway. There might be other stuff here too, but let's check this out. Yeah, 
Yeah, Stratford Festival. Very nice. Oh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. Where are we going to put this? Let's put this here. Oh, wow. These guys, too. Okay, let's put this here. Oh, yeah. Those are my guys, too. Okay, let me show you these things. Here's a smaller version. Smaller version of Bisley's work, right? I like this poster. Nice. Let me put this with these guys. These are posters uh, that we made. for comic book conventions that I used to go to uh, when I was publishing my own comics on uh, Mermaid Publications, right? Eye for an Eye, that's the cover for issue number one of Eye for an Eye. Oops, let me show you the live stream, people. Issue number one, Mermaid Publications, my company, right? So we would have this behind us. Right? Here's the cover for issue number two of Eye for an Eye. I'll show you this, but in the background, right? Nineteen ninety four, we published this. Right, nineteen ninety four. What are we in? Twenty twenty. Twenty six years later, people are freaking out about this, right? This is the cover of Mortal Coil number one. Again, one of the comics that I published, right? Cool. I'll put these guys here. Now these ones I bought when These are actually just a set of posters I bought from uh, from an artist in a mall, right? I just loved them, uh, and it was in high school. It was, I think, it was the same time, uh, same trip that I went on where we grabbed the stuff from the menus, right? I just had these on my walls for a while. Posters, art is what you like. You put on your walls, right? Decorate your walls with what you love, whatever they might be, right? They don't have to be posters. They don't have to be, they could be anything, right? Pretty. Fantasy. Nice posters. Show the people on the watching this on HD a little bit closer. A little bit of glare in there. Right. I'll show you these ones. And I think I laminated these. I got these laminated later when I got home uh, from the place. pretty right pretty whirlwind
nice fantasy poster. Lions. Who doesn't like lions? Right? Pretty. Pretty. Let's put these guys. Gang, for those watching this live i've seen a lot of subs and gifts and stuff going through thank you very much for the subs and gifts and whatnot apologies if i'm not catching them i don't have my glasses on and... <laughs> oh look at this this is a poster during uh, the protest that i used to go to this politics related but it is a poster uh, that I used to go to uh, in the build up to the Iraq war, right? Evil doer. This is Bush Jr., right? So I was demonstrating a lot uh, pre Afghanistan war as well, right? Uh, not going to Afghanistan, not invade Afghanistan or Iraq. And this is one of the posters that people were, had made that they were handing out, right? So I kept this one. Previous US governments, prominent members of which included Bush Sr., Rumsfeld, and Cheney, helped to build Saddam, Saddam's arsenal, especially in the area of germ warfare, which is true, right? No new war for oil and all that jazz, but we'll keep the politics to politics. Stratford Festival. If you like Shakespeare, and if you even don't like Shakespeare, okay, because if you've gone through our centralized education system, they force you to read Shakespeare, right? And me, I didn't know anyone of my peers when I was going through school that liked Shakespeare, right? However, when I went to university, I had the opportunity to go to the Stratford Festival. It's the largest Shakespeare festival in North America, Mexico, Canada, United States, right? And I fell in love with Shakespeare because Shakespeare was not meant to be read. It was meant to be watched and participated in, in a play atmosphere, right? And I went to the Stratford Festival. I watched every Shakespeare play for two years and half the Shakespeare plays plus other plays for one year okay and these are some of the posters that I grabbed uh, this is Shakespeare Festival 1989 uh, sorry Stratford Festival 1989 and I saw all of these plays right Titus Andraticus the comedy of errors uh, the merchant of Venice kiss me Kate the Showmaker's Holiday, A Midsummer's Night Dream, Three Sisters, Henry V was absolutely phenomenal. The Relapse I didn't see, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof I saw, Lover, Lover's Labor's Lost, uh, The Channeling. Some of these weren't Shakespeare, but uh, I saw all the Shakespeare ones and some of the other ones, right? Stratford Festival. Highly recommend, highly recommend if you ever make it to Stratford, I think it's still going on. Uh, amazing, amazing place. Here's another one. The three years that I went. This was uh, 1990. Okay, Stratford Festival. Pretty. Very pretty. Right. Very pretty. And this one is uh, 
This would be 91, I believe. Uh, 66 season. Oh, it doesn't have the year on here. How come? This was either 88 or 90. Oh, 88. There it is. So this was 88. So I saw all of these ones and I saw, I believe, all of the Shakespeare ones in 89 and 90. So I went there from 88, 89 and 90. Shakespeare Festival. And I was in university. And what you, one thing you could do at university, for the Stratford Festival, if you were a student, they had matinees that you could see the go see the plays during the day for like, eleven dollars right so we would go drive to stratford and watch a couple of shakespeare plays or one shakespeare play per day right fantastic fantastic and these all oh, richard the third check out the plays they they were showing uh in 1988 right richard the third the taming of the shrew my fair lady the three musketeers all's well that ends well murder murder in the cathedral that one i didn't see i don't think that's shake that's not shakespeare the two gentlemen of, of verona not about heroes irma la du douche twelfth night fantastic king lear fantastic Od odipias the critic okay fantastic which goes towards uh, something that i've mentioned during our discussions uh, when it comes to in relation to education and whatnot after you finish high school you need to educate yourself and not educate yourself in just things that you know you love but educate yourself in things that you have a deep core under knowledge that there's a lot of love for them but why don't you love them could be because the centralized education system indoctrination centers that we go to in high school didn't teach it to us properly so we didn't have an appreciation for the beauty of what they presented right so after graduating high school i spent a lot of time consuming sampling things that uh, allowed me to build an appreciation for them uh, even though i didn't like them when i was growing up right later on i realized wow they are actually amazing right uh, shakespeare is one of them shakespeare is one of them That's a foamy thing. <laughs> Let's put that one back. Actually, I'll take care of this later. Let's put there, right there. What have we got? I don't know what we got. <laughs> Let's try this out. Where am I going to put this? Man. Wow, look at this. Couple of things. This is uh Oh snap! Check out the other I'm gonna show you the other one too. Check this out. This is the Russian Army Choir Ensemble. Uh, I believe this is from the 1980s. The Russian Army Choir, I don't know if they do tours anymore. They were amazing they came out and uh, we went with the family um and during the time it was still the cold war so there's people demonstrating outside and whatnot but we we're just into the music and they did a phenomenal job right so i grabbed their poster uh, i don't know when this is this would have been in mid 1980s i believe okay. so that's cool check this out i didn't even know i had this <laughs> are you a boxing fan dude are you a boxing fan nice tyson versus tillman 
Foreman versus Rodriguez. Check this out, 1990. Check this out. I need to frame this baby. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Caesar's Palace. Who's the king? Well, Ali, but who's who's the hurricane? Who's who's one of the greatest fighters ever, man? Tyson. If you ever saw him fight in his prime, he blew you away, right? Just the energy in this man, right? And he's come to his own. You gotta give full respect to Tyson, man. You gotta give full respect to Tyson. Right. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Let's put this guy here. What else we got in this? What else we got in this? <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, baby. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I took my nephew to see this movie. Okay, when it first came out, the original movie. He was like a wee little, little, little kid. Like he was like, I don't know how old he was, like three or four years old. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, baby. Awesome. Awesome. From Tyson to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. theme created by Marvel. Check this out. Check that out. I don't know how old this is. I don't think it's that old. Cool. Huh? I don't know how this came out. Digital comics. Cool. Tyson Beastie Boys. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. What else we got? Oh. Is this not safe for, for work? Naked Ski Resort. I won't bring it too close. <laughs> Naked Screaming Ski Resort poster. Cartoon. Right? Check it out. this on the wall for a long time I thought it was funny if you look closely into it it's got like 
lots of different things going on and whatnot. Circus. We went to this. Uh, the Russian Moscow Circus from 1987. Okay. And they actually had live animals and stuff. And at the time, didn't know how badly animals were treated in circuses. So, you know, they had their bears and whatnot. I'm glad uh, circuses don't use animals anymore. Or, anyway. I'm glad they don't. Later on, when you grow up, you check into certain things that society accepted at a certain period, and you go, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Check this out. Mona Lisa lighting up. <laughs> Mona Lisa lighting up. Mona Lisa knows where it's at. That's why she's got that wacko grin on her face, right? Mona Lisa. Cool. She's got some plants. She's got a green thumb. Check it. She got a green thumb. Thing and I'm gonna show you what it is. Okay, let me put this here. There's a bunch of stuff here, so let me show you. I see no homework, I hear no homework, I speak no homework. <laughs> of course. Obviously, I bought this in high school, right? No homework. Who wants to do homework? Seriously, really, All right? Funny, crazy that I'm actually doing homework, people. Let me show you this. This is one of the oldest posters that I have with me. Check this out. I love this poster. I'm gonna get a framed one day. Okay, it's pretty, uh, pretty worn down. Right? Check it out. It's beautiful. And I knew, and I knew I had this, right? And I mean, seriously, look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful. Science fiction at its best, right? Now, be careful with this. This poster 
made it on the cover of 1984 magazine, which is basically uh, sort of a heavy metal style magazine, right? This was issue number three of 1984, and they used that art from uh, that poster, this artist, for their cover, okay? And the artwork, I looked this up actually, I knew I had this one, so let me tell you who the artist is. Let me tell you who the artist is. The artist's name is, uh, oh, I gotta put on my glasses, Patrick Woodruff. Patrick Woodruff is the artist's name, okay? I'm gonna give a, here, for the people in chat, I'm gonna give you a link to the, I found a picture online, and I'll have the link in the description of this video once it's loaded to BitChute and YouTube. Here's a link to the full poster that you can see. Okay. This guy, oh, let me make sure I see. I see this. Take a look. All right. Beautiful. I'm just going to show the HD people the recorded version. All right. Issue number three. I found this, uh, I think in the last, it, this found its way to me in the last like 10 years, let's say, not even like six years, seven years. I didn't know 1984 had the cover of the poster on on one of their issues, right? I was very happy to see, I was like, oh, snap, right? Fantastic, fantastic. These are posters of comic books that I published, right? Oops. And I mentioned uh, one of the comic books I published was Google Boy, the first superhero continuing series LGBTQ comic book series, right? This is the cover of Google Boy number three. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful cover. And it goes into a pool of. So all I did was uh, took the covers and just made posters out of them, right? Because when we went to conventions, uh, we just had these posters on the walls behind us, right? So Mermaid Publications. Okay, so that's the cover of issue number three. Here's the cover of issue number two. I'm very proud of these. I'm very proud. I, I published uh, 14 or 15 comic books. I was proud of all of them except one where uh, the inker bowed out. And I was trying to make a deadline, so I ended up doing I, I did some lettering on some of the issues of other comics that I published, and but I did some of the inking for that issue, and I'm not an inker, I, w I wasn't an artist, and I was just trying to make the deadline, but these things I'm very proud of, and here's the issue number one, okay, and this is 1984 that I published these, <laughs> a young 20 uh year old 20 plus year old chicho getting into the comic book industry into the publishing business and biting into something that was turned out to be an amazing experience an amazing experience right learned a lot through that period ladies and gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I give you, I give you the 
the army of darkness. Army of darkness. <laughs> awesome. From the directors of Dark Man. And Dark Man was fantastic. Really. Dark Man was really good. Army of darkness. Right? Awesome. Awesome. Right? If you haven't seen this movie, watch this movie. So good, so good. So good. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Awesome. Super good, super good. Right? Fantastic movie, as is Reservoir Dogs. Right? And Jackie Brown. Einstein and I actually have a large full-size picture of Einstein <laughs> had to be had to be and I actually had a large full-size picture of Einstein that uh, I gifted to one of my teachers in high school years later he had a picture of full-size picture of Humphrey Bogart in his room and uh, I love that picture uh, so I knew he would appreciate it and when I was moving I was giving some stuff away so I had a full-size picture of Albert Einstein that I sent to him and said thank you for um, thank you for being a great teacher This is, check this out. Check this out. This was a gift from uh, someone that I was, we hung out for a bit and she called me up one day years later and said, hey Chicho, you know, let's get together. I got something for you that I think you'll appreciate. And she brought me a satellite picture poster of Cuba right she knew i loved going to cuba i went to cuba like in the 90s a few times and i love cuban cigars so she gave me a satellite picture of cuba she was working for a project and they had these or they had this she didn't know what to do with it she passed it on to me fantastic i had this on my wall for a while structure <laughs> barely remember this I don't remember this at all but check this out structure of hair what I think my partner will like this I'm gonna give it to her 
air structures and the alpha helix design. Cool. Let me show you this. This is uh, another family member that did this. It's just his artwork, but it's also that guy there. And I'm gonna show you that guy, okay. So he did this when he was in high school. He didn't finish it, but do you like Sonic? Yes, please. <laughs> Sonic is one of the greatest games ever, right? So he didn't finish it, of course. But I kept it. I kept it. Right? For a high school kid, not bad work. Right? Check out this one. This one I have hanging on my wall right now. Well, I took it down to show you guys. This is a project that he got into where uh, the city of Vancouver had a contest for high school kids. If they did artwork, uh, and whoever won would get bookmarks uh, printed of their design and they would get a $500 scholarship and they get bookmarks printed and they made this for him too so he submitted this and ended up this thing ended up winning okay let me give you a scan of it and it's beautiful it's beautiful right and i do have uh, a couple of the bookmarks but i just couldn't find them right check it out and basically all of that is coming out of a book the imagination right which is fantastic right so again decorate your walls with things you love right things that make you happy bring you joy beautiful I thought I'd show you this too for sure what else we got what else we got oh yeah by the way here I'll give you his website as well just if you want to follow some of his artwork he still continues to produce work and uh, And that's his, I'm just sending that to chat and I'll have the link in the description of the video as well. Just in case. What else we got, what else we got? What's this guy? This is uh, fingers up, number out of habit. They wanted to reach out and touch someone I love for years. show you this these are panels from Google Boy I believe <laughs> how do I hold this up to show you guys this is basically for Google Boy the, even though Diamond Comics refused to carry Google Boy 
for whatever reason they gave, right? The LGBT community totally embraced us, right? And I tried my best, my try my ass off trying to get Gobo Boy out there and stuff like this. And there was events put on in Vancouver, Seattle, and Denver, uh, where they did events to promote Gobo Boy and stuff like this. And these are some of the some of the comics, some of the things we printed off to have on the walls for some of those events. <laughs> Show me. It's too big. Like we actually have oh my god. had a rave in the mid 1990s early 1990s an underground rave where there was hundreds of people and uh we went through the alleys down at the bunker they did a rave especially for google boy where they had gigantic google boy <laughs> posters set up i don't have those right set up and it just blew me away as someone who's from the comic book world never encountered the lgbt community just the love that it was getting was unbelievable to me right and meanwhile the comic book industry the comic book distributor refused to carry it and i i was lost in two places right but just it was unbelievable to me where there was hundreds of people just raving away and it was one of my first raves i ever went to it was trippy as anything right and people were just coming up to me just talking with me saying thank you for doing this and stuff like this and ask me questions and whatnot uh, so it was unbelievable uh, it was incredible really i'll show you this one the other ones i can't hold up like this one is the smallest one right This is a drag queen, right? That's doing a thingamajiggy of Koga Boy. Trippy, trippy. First, uh, first LGBTQ continuing series, comic book continuing series. I wouldn't say that this was the first gay, it, it's not the first gay superhero, but it was the first lgbtq comic book continuing series that would that came out right uh, it's a pretty big thing as far as i'm concerned i'll have scotch and soda wait i'm physically damaged a beer and stuff <laughs> and the humor i can't show you the other ones they're too big they're too big they're too big they're too big. Funny. Funny. I totally forgot these were there. Crazy. Check out my hands, it's all inky. Look at that. What else we got? What else we got? That was funny. What else we got? What else we got? What's this? Uh, oh yeah, this isn't uh, posters. 
this is just uh what do you call it for lighting like i don't know what you call these things sort of to create different types of lighting uh, for film so that's not poster is it? oh more posters more okay this is just a note thing so let's put that guy over there Let's put this guy over here. More uh, music posters. Cool. Nice, nice. Check these out. So this is of the same mindset of. Uh, my document uh, my sister's documentary of posters right so let me show you this let me make uh, move these over a little bit so put these over here so it's not too much pressure and there's a whole bunch that we still have to see here being built up on the posters let me just put these guys over here because we've already seen all those okay I was getting a little too big. Okay, that's good. Let me show you these ones. <laughs> Trump and drag. <laughs> awesome. Check this out. What do we got? Oh yeah, look at these. These are a bunch too. Hill Blues Traveler Del Sol Rehab. Check that out. <laughs> That's Cheech, isn't it? Nice. Ooh. Twenty-one of thirty. This poster. Check it out. It says here. 21 of 30, so there's only 30 of these posters made. Right, let me show the HD people. Recorded version. Right. Super cool, super cool. Nice, nice. Isaac Hayes, look at this, look at this. Produced by Mad Booking and Events. Isaac Hayes. Pete Schmidt, July 30th. Sobrolot. Cool. I gotta get all these posters framed at some point. This one's 28 out of 120. Right. 28 out of 120. Okay. Some of these you can't even read the writing. This is bandits. Check it out. Trippy. Erp. The Bandits record release part. And the Nymphets, Montreal. This is a show from Montreal. No, I wasn't at these uh, shows. My sister was though. Some of, she wasn't at all these shows. She was at some of these shows. She was really into music and posters and stuff like this. It was basically a lot of artists in Canada, United States, and Europe, I believe, 
sent her a lot of posters to because she was making uh, she was making she was interviewing people for five years driving around all over county united states <laughs> dude i didn't even know i had this one slayer slayer dude 2000 and uh 120504 damn sweet and she was driving around interviewing a lot of these artists uh for five years and creating a documentary so a lot of people uh you know sent her posters or she went to the shows and grabbed the posters and bought the posters and whatnot what a poster i gotta get this frame why is this rolled up i gotta get this framed this and Dillinger escape plan gotta be together, man. What? I totally forgot I had this. Gypsy ballroom. Dude. Kill switch. Whoa. Engage. Mastodon. Mud flap. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. What else we got? What else we got? And I've never seen Slayer live, man. Can't believe it. Look at this one. Who is this one? Sal Rosa, Thursday, December 11th. Vinyl, Runch, and Cosmic. I don't know who this is. Take a look. Pretty cool. Trippy, trippy, trippy. signatures on this this is 46 out of 115 that were created right 46 out of 115 check it out check it out what was the snare one This one's numbered. Oh, it is too. Check this out. This one's 50 out of 75. Check it out. 50 out of 75. Right? Very nice. Very nice. Super cool. What else we got? What else we got? HUD. Paul Newman is HUD. Oh, this is the movie. Wednesday, September 11th. Across from the Gem Theater. Dude, if you've never watched the movie HUD, watch the movie HUD. So good. So good. So I guess this was a poster for the movie. Or is it a band? I don't know. The movie is amazing. The movie is amazing. I need to get all these frames. To tell you the truth, like, really. Your electronic music DJ crush DJ crush check this out alter echo very nice very nice very nice check out the top Sunday October 3rd at Burbays
Awesome. And with Alter Echo, ERS1. Visuals by Manual Upload Unit. Sweet. DJ Crush is fantastic, by the way. DJ Crush is really good. Japanese, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. What else we got? What else we got? July 3rd. A new Numo Seattle. MG5. KDKT. Davis. Crab Kramer Thompson. This one's 178 out of 200. Cool poster. July 3rd. What is that in the middle? What kind of what kind of what kind of leaf is that? What's going on? Very uh 4th of July ish, eh? Pretty cool. I need the weights, yeah. Put this guy here. We got one more of these posters. Let's check it out. Killers. Immortal Lee County. Check this out. Cool poster. The legendary Shack Shakers. Baby Drivers. Kodiaks, Emos, May 21st. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're getting to the last bunch here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. What else we got? What else we got? A lot of posters here. I didn't realize I had this many. Check it out, check it out. Oh yeah, I know these ones. These have been on my walls for many, many years. Okay, let me move these guys. <laughs> Let's put this there. I gotta be careful with some of these. I don't wanna damage them. What's one of the greatest movies ever made? What's one of the greatest movies ever made? Say hello to my little friend. Al Pacino and Scarface. Al Pacino and Scarface. One of the greatest monologues ever. Right? When he's sitting in the restaurant with the plush people. Just letting him have it. Scarface, fantastic, fantastic. Brandy, good cigars. Tony gets his first taste of the good life. What else we got? What else we got? Did we say Pulp Fiction? We did, we did. Pulp Fiction again, right? we get the money then we get the girls then we get the world what a great movie Scarface oh yeah Chicho revolutionary loving his cigars Fidel Fidel have you ever heard Fidel speak? You should. One of the greatest speakers in human history, really. Powerful. 
He would give speeches that were hours long. Right? Cuba. Who was his right hand man? Fidel was the realist. Che was the idealist. Right? I've had these for a long, long, long time. One of the best, I forget who they are now, but one of the best albums, rock albums, to come out during the 1980s and early 1990s, I guess. One of the, they put out some revolutionary, uh, revolutionary to a certain degree, some really good music, U2, and Joshua Tree was really good, really. It was a fantastic album, right? War was an amazing album was Sunday bloody Sunday right but Joshua Tree was a great album okay. I don't listen to it anymore I don't listen to you two anymore but at the time it was very very good oh, ho, 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 ho. have you ever watched a boxing movie do you want to watch a phenomenal boxing movie? One of the greatest boxing movies ever made? It's not Rocky. Rocky's great, it's amazing. But Raging Bull, Raging Bull. What a phenomenal boxing movie. De Niro, nah, he's fallen, right? Like most of Hollywood. But this was a great movie, Raging Bull. A lot of people talk about Al Pacino and not, not Al Pacino, uh, De Niro and Joe Pesci and other gangster movies they've made. This was their greatest movie, Raging Bull. Okay. If you haven't seen this, watch it. It's really good. Man, I gotta organize these things I'm laying out. Crazy, crazy. Veggie poster, vegetables, right on. Elizabeth Berry. Cool. Veggie poster, eggplants. So these are all eggplants. Check this out. Eggplants, right? Nice. Pretty. Beautiful. Thousand and one dishes with eggplants. <laughs> From raging bull to eggplants. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Come here, come here. Off you go. What else we got? What else we got? You want to see what I used to do as a geophysicist? What I used to... Oh, I have...
have to hold this away because there's uh, certain information there. But check this out. As a geophysicist, we collect, uh, as one of the things I did was collect electromagnetic magnetic data, and you take it into a data set, into a software, and you grid it, uh, you run software, uh, algorithms over it, filters over it, process the information, and plot it out, right? This is what you end up producing. This is basically, actually, I can bring this closer because the information is already curled up. But basically, you print this stuff up and you're mapping underground metallic and ferrometallic objects, right? And you're looking for either anomalies or things that don't belong there. Right? So you, the track here, this is a, basically a track, right? That's collecting data over a track. Um, over a big track and then the stuff you see here there are pipes basically you're mapping or under buried stuff there right that if they're not supposed to be there you need to go out there and dig them up and find out if anybody's buried any toxins any barrels and we would find stuff right so companies or people where they didn't want to get rid of their toxic byproducts of whatever they were doing they would go into fields and bury them right so be if you're buying land, you need to run an environmental assessment on things. Yeah. What's this guy? Oh, yeah. This is concept art. I have friends, I mentioned that I have friends that uh, work in the gaming industry. And, oh, nice. In the gaming industry. And this is one of the concept arts, I believe, anyway, that came out. For, I forget what game this was. This was, let me read this. Prototype, that's right. So I knew one of the designers, some of the team that was working on the game Prototype. Right? And this was one of the cost of posters that they put out. You're not gonna see it, but, or was it a movie? Movie or game, right? It's hard to see this one, so. Who's one of the greatest legends in music history? Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. Right? Awesome. Fantastic. What a guitarist. Left hand too. And the who? Tuesday at the ninety one. The who? Maximum R B. Marquee. I don't know if this was a cover band or if it was a who poster. I think it was a cover band that was doing the who, but they couldn't have called themselves the who. I don't know. Pete Townsend, eh? Pete Townsend. Phenomenal shows. Oh, that's empty. This one is, uh, <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is some of the mathematics we did. Some of the live stream math stuff that we did. Or some of the math content that I created. And I just kept it. I'm not sure why, but I kept it. And we got one more thing to go through. Is there anything in here? Yeah, there is. There is some stuff I have on the ground here, but we'll, I'm gonna show you that stuff later. Actually, let me show you that stuff right now for a second. I'm not gonna show you all of them. I'm gonna give you a teaser because we'll do that another time. I'll show you this as well. One of the things I do, uh, I've done in the past, I have posters up in different places around the house. And one of the things I've done is uh, artwork that I like. I used to have a laminator. I would just print off and laminate and decorate my walls, right? And I have a whole bunch of these things. 
Okay. All right. This is from Samurai Jack, by the way, this one. If never watched Samurai Jack, watch Samurai Jack. Some of the beautiful artwork and an amazing story, right? So I'm not gonna show you these things, all of them, but it's just different, different artists. There's like three or four different artists that I'd like here. I have a whole bunch on my walls already. Okay. And I have little guys that I laminated, that I use for decorations and whatnot. Let me show you this. I have some souvenirs from the 1994 World Cup. <laughs> World Cup. Okay, let's show it to you. USA, 1994. Somehow this made it to me, right? Somehow this made it to me. <laughs> right? I got bigger things of that as well. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Actually, before I show you that, ah, no, let me show you this. I partied with the Brazilians in 94 in San Francisco and LA. And I jacked a few things. I think this is supposed to be a beer in Brazil. Here's a Brazilian flag. I used to have that in the back of my hoodie. Back of the car, trunk, drive around with it, right? They're just doing promos, so they would have this. I don't know if I can show you the other ones. The other ones are too big, way too big to show. All right. I'll show you the other ones another day. They're way too big, like they're tarps. Check this out. I had these on my walls for a time. San Francisco and LA where the final was held and after the day after the final me my sister and my mom went to the Rose Bowl drove around they had tarps all around the stadium on fences that so people couldn't see protection and stuff like this and somehow these found their way to us This one says gold. I can't open up the whole thing. Like, it's not gonna happen, right? There was holes in the tarp around the fence of the stadium. Once we were done. Okay. It's huge. I can't, I can't even unroll it. I can't unroll it. Let me put this down. I would need an assistant to do this. I would need an assistant to do this. But I will show you one thing. How, I'll show you a picture of how they made it. Somehow they made it to us. <laughs> this is what, this is what the place looked like, right? I'll show the live stream people. That's that's Chicho and Mum taking a little souvenir. I'll show the HD people too. The good memories. Good memories. <laughs> Crazy. It's on the same level as this by the way. I had friends that uh Expo 86, it was a uh, world exposition was held in Vancouver, British Columbia in 1986. Uh, and I had friends that 
uh, got a little souvenir from Expo 86 and they grabbed one for me as well. And this was around the fencing of Expo 86 as well. A little souvenir. Welcome in different languages. Awesome. I can't open up the whole thing, it's big. Too large. Too large. What was those posters we're looking at? Oh yeah, the posters are there. I'm gonna take a look at what those guys are. Maybe someday when I got enough space, I'll show you what these look like. Okay. This store is fantastic. We went to go buy some stuff at the, for, the, for the World Cup, buy some stuff at the souvenir store. And I looked around the stadium and this beautiful tarp was around the stadium with designs. And I was like, mm, you know what? The store souvenir, souvenir that you can get on your own. So I turned to my mom, the little lady here, right? The little lady here that you see here, right? That you see here. And I said, hey, mom, do you have a knife? And she always carries a knife. Old school, you always have a knife with you. And uh, she goes, yeah, what do you want it for? I said, well, uh, don't worry about it. Just give me your knife. And she says, oh, no, what do you want it for? And I said, well, I want to go and get some souvenirs. She goes, absolutely not. I go, oh, come on, mom. We've got tickets. We went and saw the final. Spent a month at the World Cup watching the games, right? And uh, she goes, no, you can't do it. Because if they catch you, you'll be in trouble. But I'm an old lady. They won't hassle me. <laughs> so this little lady, right? brought out her knife okay and me and my sister hopped in the car and she made her way through around the stadium and started getting some souvenirs and as soon as she had them down like she would go on her tiptoes cut up like huge <laughs> as soon as they flopped down we go and run roll it up throw it in the back of the car It was fantastic. Just a little souvenir. Oh, more posters, rock posters. More of those beautiful posters. Let's check these out. Let's check these out. up the, the posters look at this one Mount St. Helens nice beautiful poster I had more of these than I thought. Very nice. Friday, April 18th at the Cactus Club. Saturday, April 19th at the Double Door. Mount St. Helens. 30 out of 31? I can't tell. Okay, we're gonna put these guys here.
Destruction of Burma. 6 out of 125. Check this out. 6 out of 125. 6 out of 125. Ah, that's a cool poster. All right. Mission of Burma. With Arc Welder, Sunday, November 24th, 2002. First Avenue. Cool. Eleven out of hundred and forty five. Yeah, yeah, yes. Saturday, November twenty second, two thousand and three, First Avenue, all ages, the locust plus so fox. Nice, pretty. out of 125 Mosphere atmosphere atmosphere dude atmosphere Ooh. ATM sphere atmosphere very nice Nice. Oh, check this out. With uh, special guest, Brother Ali, with DJ KB1 and uh, DJ Bird. Very nice. Very nice. Atmosphere. Beautiful music, man. Beautiful music. a warehouse to put all these up oh this is died young stayed pretty the documentary that my sister made so this is one of the other posters that one of the artists made for my sister's uh, documentary about poster making right underground poster making again if you want to check it out died young stayed pretty nice poster Noro Tomo Productions. Here's the website again if you want to check it out. You can check out the trailer there, by the way. Let me post the link in chat. And I'll provide the link in the description of the videos as well once they're loaded on Bitchy and YouTube. Oh, yeah, there's another one. I know this poster. I like this poster a lot. Here's another one. Died young, stayed pretty. Okay. Beautiful poster. I really like this poster. Little sad kitty. Little upside down cross right there. What's going on? What's going on? What? Here's another one. Died young, stayed pretty. Oop. Died young, stayed pretty. Wow, we're coming up to two and a half hours. We got like three or four more posters to go through. Okay, I had way more posters than I thought. Here's another one. 
died young, stayed pretty. So a whole bunch of artists ended up making posters uh, for the documentary, which is pretty cool. Right, which is pretty cool. young stayed pretty yeah. died young stayed pretty Henry Rollins check this out an evening with Henry Rollins ha 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 nice would you like to spend the night and evening with henry rollins why not he's a cool cat knows what he's talking about right icon really very cool very cool <laughs> awesome gang my living room is full of posters <laughs> now i know why they're all just bunched up in, in, a, in, a, in a sort of a corner to a certain degree because there's so many of them. I've got to put these together. I've got to organize these somehow. Whew. We do, we do. We do, we do. Thank you for being here. I'm going to go to the chat and say bye to the chat after we stop recording with a lapel mic and an HD camera. I hope you enjoyed the posters uh, I had more than I thought really I didn't realize I had this many some of these I haven't seen for a very 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 long time uh, very cool movie posters music posters memorable memorable can't even say it right um, very cool designs uh, some history beautiful science fiction right just beautiful art to fill your space right and that's what posters are about that's what art is about really so i hope you enjoyed i hope you have your own poster collection you're starting you've already have it you've got it on the walls aside from having comic books on the walls that is right uh and uh what i'll do i'll see you guys in the next video and if you do like what we're doing here if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this project and that's patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to participate in these videos live streams live you want to be on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay we do announce what we're doing on twitter gavs mine is vklo and parlor okay and we will be uploading a lot of content as audio on SoundCloud. If you just want to listen to what it is that we're doing. And we will be uploading this video to BitChute and YouTube. Aside from that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go talk to chat live. Okay. Bye for now. Hey, guys. I saw some uh, some chat go by. I tried to catch it. Focusing difficult. Focusing difficult. That's a lot of posters. I didn't realize. Let me turn off the audio on this. Nice. Looks like it recorded it all, which is great. <laughs> I thought we might be done in like an hour and a half or something but it took us two and a half hours to do very cool let me grab a seat i'm gonna change i'm gonna turn off the fire because it got really hot here <laughs> army of darkness dude pulp fiction yes raging bull Al Pacino. 
Very nice. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Let me detangle myself. <laughs> My space is just full of stuff now. Okay, poster, poster. Okay. Let me change the camera angle. Salute, gang. Loved Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys. Dude, we had two Beastie Boy posters. Awesome. Great stream, Coolio. I'm glad you liked. Oops. Sorry, gang. Might do a wall decorating with posters. This would be awesome. Really. Unfortunately, in our space that we're in right now, there isn't too many walls. So we're limited on the walls. And I'm using them all up. And I don't want to put the posters way up there. Uh, just because in that area, the sun comes across. So I don't want the uh, posters to get sunburned. Lifting some of those posters. <laughs> I didn't realize it crunched up so many things in one. I need to get uh, folders to have these posters sitting straight. Uh, how do we do that? <laughs> maybe in the next upgrade. Maybe in the next upgrade. Awesome. This documentary. I think your mom is my new hero, or at least <laughs> this is inspiration. Awesome, Cheryl. She is for me, really. How many moms do you know really you go up to them and say hey mom you got a knife she goes yeah <laughs> you got your knife she goes yeah she reaches into her purse brings out a knife before she gives it she goes what do you want it for uh you know i'm just gonna do something well, what are you gonna do um, i'm gonna help myself to some souvenirs she goes nope i'm gonna do it because they won't arrest me right awesome awesome may need extra protection yeah i'm assuming some of these posters the 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 concert ones and stuff like this they're pretty rare i don't i haven't checked out prices on these because i don't plan on selling any of these right i don't in general sell anything that i have singles of right I'm filing that away for future <laughs> adventures. Fun gang. How long have we been going on this? Uptime. What's our uptime? I hope it shoot doesn't have a hard time uploading this one. Two and a half hours. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Fantastic. I hope you guys had a I hope the uh, the visual for it was uh, coming out okay. Uh, I think it was. Uh, the setup was good which is fantastic aside from that gang we're gonna do a live stream tomorrow chicho overtime chicho overtime for this type of stuff yeah uh but we're gonna do a live stream tomorrow at 3 p.m we're gonna play our 10 by 10 puzzle Woo rock and roll dragons i enjoyed this one thanks my pleasure uh, me too i needed to go through this just to figure out what it is that i have and this was a great opportunity to go through now it's archived so i'm gonna roll these up i totally forgot about the gigantic google boy stuff <gasps> man that brought back memories at the rave they had those things on the wall they had big gigantic banners coming google boy banners coming down and they had these things on the wall just panels just saying something right yeah, fantastic man i needed more arms today elder god I, I can't I can't show you the full glory of the 94 World Cup souvenirs right I will one day I will one day I had them in my space I used to live in a space that had a huge amount of walls so I filled up a lot of a lot of things lonely piggy how are you doing I'm doing fantastic man we just did ended up doing a video doing a live stream of something that I've wanted to do for for a while now and I'm glad we got it done. Uh, and it gave me an opportunity to go through what I have. And when I try to put them away, I'm going to try to organize it in a way where it makes sense, rhyme and reason. Right? 
aside from that gang should we call the stream let's call the stream sorry about the technical difficulties earlier i need this bring this what do you call it uh sorry about the technical difficulties earlier uh i'm not sure what happened it was a hiccup with uh obs great stream i love this stream awesome uncharted ace 1994 best year ever it was an interesting year it was an interesting year all years have been interesting this year is crazy interesting but we leave that for another stream thanks as always my pleasure cheryl thank you for hanging around gang uh, aside from that as far as the live stream goes i'm on patreon you want to follow this work patreon is it you want to support this work patreon is it uh, i'll try to share as much as i can and i will do it most likely through patreon okay uh, we are live streaming on twitch obviously if you're here watching it live you know that if you're watching it on bit or youtube after the fact uh twitch.tv backslash chicho live c h y c h o l i v e 2020 can be one elder god indeed i do announce these live streams tutor gas minus vk and hello and parlor elder god i'm out brother thanks for hanging around hello from france how are you doing doing fantastic facts facts fan doing very good thank you very much i hope you guys are doing well in france i might upload this audio to soundcloud i think i might uh we'll see how it goes how the editing goes and the video will be going up to youtube and bitchute and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership and support this work through that you can like you can share you can comment uh, through soundcloud i hope you like the audio through twitch subscribing uh, following uh, sharing is a great way to support this project and patreon is patreon right gang thanks for being here uh, thank you for letting me share uh, one of my loves which is poster posters art decorating your space uh, and I hope you like uh, my small collection, right? Aside from that, gang, I hope you have a fantastic Monday and a start to your week. Okay. Bye for now. And by the way, mods, thank you for taking care of business. Okay. Very much appreciate it. Bye, everyone.